Okay guys, so we're about to get to our workout for this next module. I wanna first say how proud I am of all of our students. You guys are doing awesome, each one of you. I am really thrilled that you guys are watching these videos, that you're doing these exercises, that we did the belt test. Some of you might not have belt tested just yet, but you will pretty soon. But the fact that you're here and you're watching this, we're so proud of you. Your parents are proud of you. You're showing me self-discipline. You're showing your parents self-discipline. How many other kids right now are playing video games or watching TV or just goofing off? You are working, you're training, you're putting in the effort. You're doing this and that's fantastic. Again, you're working on trying to get your more, more of your classes so you get ready for the next belt test. And when you keep doing this and you get your next belt and then you get your next belt and your next belt, eventually what's gonna happen? You're gonna make it to your black belt, right? So all of us, all the instructors here are really proud of you for doing this. Your parents are proud of you for doing this. Keep it up. Okay, let's get to our workout. Ben Kanye. All right, everybody, we're doing our workout for the day. So what we're gonna be focusing on today is primarily footwork. For footwork, what we wanna be focusing on is keeping our stance the same when we're doing it. So we're gonna be in our kicking stance just like this. And what we're gonna do is we're doing something called a shuffle step. And what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be standing right about here, and we're gonna do a shuffle step forward, but see how my stance is in the same position? That's what we wanna focus on, because if we have to be in a situation where we have to offend or defend. We want to be ready to kick, all right? So I would, if I were to be defending and I would be going backwards in that shuffle step, I can then bring my leg up and kick and that stance good or do a round kick or do a front kick, all right? So we want to focus on keeping that kicking stance and our hands up the entire time, all right? So in Korean, this is a little, little uh, extra bit, in Korean, it's called a chunjin. A chunjin is going forward with that shuffle step, it's the same thing. And going backward is actually called a honjin, all right? So shuffle step, that's still what it's called, but it's also called, if you're going forward, chunjin. If you're going backwards, honjin, all right? And I'm keeping that stance the entire time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on, we're gonna focus on when we're doing that stance, when I say go, we're gonna go forward. And then I say go again, we're gonna go back and keep that stance, all right? So what I want you to do is I want you to have your hands up. I want you to look at one spot anywhere in the room and I want you to stay focused on it. And I want you to use your ears. When I say the words go, we're gonna go forward or backward, either way, all right? So everyone have your hands up. Can you stand slow, kia, aya! Ready and go. Go, 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 and go, go, go. All right, keep your hands up, keep looking forward. Stay in that stance, all right? Go, go. Let's make it a little tricky now. Go, 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 go. Oh, I almost fell down. <laughs> Good, make sure you keep your feet up. You wanna make sure that you're going off the ground. And also, when you're doing this, try to see if you can do this while you, when you do it, and you, you need to go forward. So if you're doing a chunjin forward, you need to hop forward, not hop up and down. You don't wanna go up and down because that's gonna be a point where if we're in a, in a situation, that person could then see that as an opening to strike, all right? So we wanna keep our stance, hands up, and go that way, or we wanna go that way. We never go up and down, all right? Let's do it again, ready and go. Go, 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 and go, and go, 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 go. Ready and go. And go, go. Good job, everybody. Come back to the center, chitty up. Awesome, and Kanye, let's shake out our legs. We're gonna do it three times, so we're gonna do something else in between. We're gonna do something fun. It's gonna be a little bit of a calf workout. For those of you who don't know, your calf is this muscle back here. And what helps with us bouncing and doing that motion is our ankle and our calf. So what we're gonna be focusing on 
we're going to be doing these jumps. We're going to be going up, and we're going to land on our tippy toes. So you're going to go up and hold it. See how I'm holding on my tippy toes? Then I come down. So up, hold, down. Up, hold, down. Good. I'm going to do it from this side. Ready? And up, hold, down. We're going to do that for 30 seconds, all right? Let's see if you can do it with me, but see if you can land on your tippy toes, then bring your heels down, all right? So in five seconds, we're gonna go. Shake out my legs one more time. Five, four, three, two, one, go. 30 seconds. Again, speed does not matter. I just wanna see if you can land on your toes and then bring them down. You should feel it pulse in the back of your calf. Good. Keep going. Good. Just like that. Good. Good. Good job. Keep going. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Well done. All right. Chidiya. And Kune. Well done. Good listening. Now, we're on to round two. So let's see if we can do round two. We're gonna make sure that we're in our kicking stance. Hup! And our hands are in fists. And we are having our knees bent slightly. We don't wanna make sure our legs are straight. If our legs are straight, then when we have to do that jump, we're gonna go, then go for it, all right? We don't want that to happen. We wanna already be ready. So when you say go, just like that, all right? Chung in forward. Hojin back. It's also called the shuffle step. Round two. When I say go, ready? Horseback, I mean, not horseback riding stance. Kicking stance, like yeah. Aya! Good, ready? Go. 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 Go, go. 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 Go, 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 go. That was a tricky one. Go. Go, go. Go. Go, go. Again, you can go both ways as much as you like. Go. Just make sure you have room and you don't trip over anything. Go, go. Go. Keep your eyes focused on that point. That's where your opponent is. You gotta have your hands up. Good. Good job. Keep going. Starting to feel it in my calves. Keep going. Good. Good. Very good, everyone. Chidi up. And Kunye. All right, check them out again. We're doing our jumping now. Round two. So, I'm gonna get ready. 30 seconds. Is everybody ready? And go. Good. Jump, land on my tippy toes, down. Jump, land on my tippy toes, down. Ready? And jump, land on my tippy toes, down. Good. Good. Keep going. Good. Try to stay in one spot. I was just rotating so that you guys could see my feet. All right. Good. And five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Shake them out one more time. Nice. All right. Now we are doing this the last time. Can you stand slow? Key out. Hup. Focus on your spot. Hands up. Ready? Go. Go, go. Go, go. Go. Go, go. Go, go, go. 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 Go, go. Go. Go, go. Good. Oh, almost got you. Go. Focus on hearing. Black belt listening. Go. Go, go. Go, go, 
Go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, Good job, everybody. Chidi up. And Kanye. All right, last one. Last 30 seconds. Remember, we are doing our jumps. So we want to land again. Point our toes, land on our tippy toes, and then bring them down. Speed is not important. I just want to see you do it right. Work hard. You should feel the back of your calves, the back of your legs starting to feel a little sore. All right? Let's do this. Ready? And go. 30 seconds. Good. We're almost there. Almost done. Good. 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 See if you can keep your balance. If you hunch over, it's going to be harder to do it. You're going to want to fall back or fall forward. Straight back. Good. Good. 10 seconds. 10. We'll do 10 more. 9. 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Good job, everybody. That's our workout for today. All right. So now we're going to go on to the next thing, everyone. Should you? And Kunye. Well done, everybody. Okay, so I wanna talk about something called alive time versus dead time, okay? Now here's the thing, all of us need to be able to de-stress, right? Stress is something that's affecting us. It's usually making us not feel very good. It might make us feel anxious or angry or upset or frustrated, right? Stress happens a lot. Especially right now, it's really easy in the quarantine to be more stressed out because we can't go see our friends. We can't do as many fun things that we're normally used to doing, okay? So when stress happens, it's really important to be able to de-stress. And there's different things that we can do to de-stress. Some of us can go for a walk, or we can do a workout, or we can watch a movie, or we can play a video game, or we can read a book, or we can try to play a musical instrument. Maybe you play the piano or play the guitar. But here's the thing, all these things that we could do, some of them, are alive time and some of it is dead time. So what is the difference? Dead time is when we do something and it, it could be fun, but we're not getting a benefit from it. Alive time is when we're doing something and it's helping us grow. It's bettering ourselves. So if we're doing a martial arts workout, you guys are doing this martial arts workout right now. Is this a live time? Yes, because you're growing, you're getting better, you're getting stronger, you're working on improving yourself. Now, what if you play a video game? Is that a live time or dead time? That's dead time. Why? Now, I'm not saying you can't ever play a video game. I play video games from time to time, absolutely. But here's the thing. Do you wanna play video games all day long? If you play a video game all day long, are you getting any benefits? No. Is it helping you get a workout? No. Is it helping you get smarter? Not really, no, right? So if you're watching TV, same thing. A lot of times watching TV or watching a video is not always a live time, it's dead time. It's something fun. It's something that can help us de-stress and that's important, but it's not helping us grow. What if we're reading a book? Well, reading a book could actually be a live time. It's helping us get smarter. Sometimes reading is really, really important, okay? What if you were learning to play a musical instrument? If you're trying to learn to play the guitar, that's a live time because you're bettering yourself. You're learning a hobby, right? If you go out and get some exercise, you run around, that's a live time because it's helping better yourself. You're, you're moving around, that's really good for your body, okay? So there's a lot of things we can do. It's important that we have a balance. We don't wanna just do dead time. And it's not that we can't ever do dead time. It's okay to do some of this stuff. It's okay to watch TV. It's okay to play video games, but we don't wanna only do that. We wanna make sure that we're doing a live time also. That is really important. What do you guys do for your lifetime? Again, we're doing it right now. I want you to also think about what are some other things you do in life that is your lifetime. All right, everyone, we are ready to start our arm workout for the day. So to start, we're gonna start with a shoulder workout. And this one's kind of weird. It looks like you're just flapping your arms a bunch. But the way it works is you have to keep your elbow really strong. So if I'm flapping my arms like this, it's not really doing anything. 
I extend out as far as I can and stretch my fingers big and wide and then keep my elbows locked out but move my shoulders as fast as I can. Then, after a while, this is a really good workout for your shoulders. So I'm keeping my elbows locked, keeping my fingers spread, and I'm moving my feet, my hands, excuse me, about a foot. <clears throat> so it's kind of like you're trying to dry your hands off and they're wet. You should feel a lot of air moving past your fingers. All right, so let's try that. We're gonna do palms down and then palms up and then palms forward and move our hands this way, about a foot, and then switch and palms back. All right, ready, palms up and go. Do about 20 seconds. Remember, keep your elbows strong and straight and go as fast as you can. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Five more seconds, then we'll switch and go palms down. And switch, palms down, keep going. Make sure you can feel the air rushing past your fingers. My shoulders are starting to get tired. Got another minute to go. Keep going. Five more seconds, and then we'll switch to hands, palms facing forward. Ready, switch, palms forwards. So now you're moving your hands forwards and backwards like this. Remember, keep your elbows strong and straight. Don't let them bend down, that makes it too easy. Keep going. Five more seconds. And switch, palms face backwards. Remember, keep your elbows strong and locked out. Keep your hands pumping fast. 10 more seconds. And take a break. Oof, good job. <clears throat> All right, so next, we're gonna work on jabs and crosses. So find your boxing stance. Both sets of toes facing forward. One foot in front of the other. And your hips forward not sideways. So put your guard up, <clears throat> and then what we're gonna focus on is pivoting this foot while we keep our hands up the whole time. So I'm gonna point my knee out as I do my jab with my front hand, and then I'm gonna pull that back, switch into a cross, and put my knee in. So your knee is going from out to in. And when your knee goes this way, punch. Knee comes this way, punch. So you're just doing that motion. Do that for about 30 seconds on each side. Ready, go. Knee out, in, out, in, out, in. Your other foot stays still. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Make sure your hands stay up near your chin the whole time. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. 10 more seconds, then we'll switch sides. Jab, cross. And switch. So put your other foot in front. Jab. Your knee goes out. Cross. Knee comes in. Jab. Cross. Jab. Cross. Jab. Cross. Jab. Cross. Jab. Cross. Jab. Cross. Jab, cross. 15 more seconds. seconds. And good job. All right, now moving on to some groundwork. So we're going to do some plank position stuff. We're going to start standing, and then we're going to walk our hands out to plank, and then we're going to walk our hands past plank. So I'll show you what it looks like once, and then we can do it together a few times. I'm going to put my hands down on the ground, walk forward into a normal push-up position, and then I'm gonna walk my hands out even further as far as I can, and then back, and all the way back to standing. Let's try three of those together. So hands down, walk out to plank, 
hold here for a second, check that your hips are low enough, you don't want to be up here. And then walk your hands out further, two or three more little steps, and walk them back to plank, and back up to standing. There's one, and we'll do our second, walk out to plank, hold here, check your hips, walk out as far as you can, walk back, and up to standing. Very good. Next, down, out to plank, hold, and further. Two or three more steps out, back to plank, and back to standing. All right, one more. Hands down, walk it out. Hold and plank, hips nice and low. And walk out a few more steps. And walk back. And all the way up to stand. Very good. So now we're going to do a side plank. And we're going to reach up to start. So I'm in my side plank here, reaching up like I'm holding the ceiling up. And then I'm going to take that hand down under my body and push it behind me as far as I can. So I'll show you the other side. Lifting here, and my hand's going to come down and press my palm up behind me. All right, let's do five on each side. So find your plank, flop over, find your side plank, lift to the ceiling, and hand under, and up, down, two, up, down, three, up. Down four, up, down five, up, and switch. Other side, up, and down, up, and down two, up, and down three, up, down four, up, down five. Six and one extra one just for fun. All right, <clears throat> one more quick one to do. So this one is an elbow plank. And then all you're gonna do here is slide your nose as far forward as you can, touch the ground, and as far back as you can, and touch. Let's do that five times. Ready, forward, and back. Forward, back, two, forward, back. Three, forward, and four. The last one, forward, and back. <clears throat> All right, excellent job, everyone. So go ahead and get a spot to sit ready, and we'll go into our meditation. I'm gonna grab a cushion. So for this one, <clears throat> we're gonna do some jump squats first. Get our heart rate going nice and fast. And then we're gonna sit down and focus on our breath and listen to our heartbeat and see if we can use our breath to slow our heartbeat down on purpose. All right, ready, squat position, and down, and up, and jump, down, up, jump, down, up, jump, down, and up, that's four, now, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, all right. Go ahead and sit down, cross your legs, relax your hands on your knees or in your lap. Stretch your spine up, relax your shoulders down, let your eyes close, and start focusing on your breath and letting your heartbeat slow. <clears throat>
heart rate is slowed down a little bit. Remember to use every inhale to stretch your spine up taller. And let's add something. If you weren't already, try counting your in-breaths and your out-breaths. Stretch your spine up and begin. Counting your in-breaths and stretching your spine up on every inhale. Thank you for meditating with me and doing that arm workout, and we'll see you next time.